In this video, we will show the use of the Actus Potentia Statics Power software, especially the module on free body diagram. So, to start the free body diagram module, click on its button. And you will get the free body diagram workspace and um, drawing tools on the right hand side and control tools on the left hand side. First, we build a frame. So we click on a straight member, put the straight member on the workspace, stretch it to appropriate length bring another straight member Join the straight members with the pin joint. Get a pulley. Use the pin joint to fix the pulley to this member. Then I'm going to align the cable from the pulley, bring it over here. Join the cable to the member. You can stretch the cables like this. <coughs> Now I'm going to put supports. I'm going to put a pin support here. And if you want, you can rotate the pin support. And I'm going to put a roller support here. rotate the roller support now I'm going to apply a loading for that I go to the loading box enter the magnitude of the loading choose its direction I'm going to put uh, another loading here maybe a point force magnitude of 3000 and I choose the distance couple now my structure and the loading are done 
then I click on the explode view or solve free body diagram button it shows the free body diagram for the frame for the entire frame you can see that there are two reaction forces from the pin and one reaction force from the roller also for this free body diagram there are three unknown forces one two three and you can write three equations that is two force balance equations and one moment balance equation the members are designated by the nodes so for example this is a CGD member this is the BC member this is the AE member and so on <coughs> you can see that the BC member is a two force member at this end of the BC member there is a force coming from node B and on this end there is a force coming from node C so let's look at the free body diagram of member BC that's the two force member another two force member is here which is the EA member and if you look at the free body diagram of member EA then you will see the forces on the two force member if you look at the member BGHA it has a two force member attached here so there will be a force coming from here along the member two perpendicular components of a force at node G two perpendicular components of force at node H and one force at node A coming from this two force member so let's look at the free body diagram of BGHA these are the forces from the two force members these are the pin forces if you look at the member CGD there are two forces coming from the pin two forces coming from the this pin and one force coming from this cable which is aligned along the cable and our external loading which is a couple so let's look at the member CGD this is the pin force another pin force this is the force from the cable and this is the applied loading if you look at the member EHF there is a roller force coming from here and a pin force coming from here and another pin force coming from here so let's look at the free body diagram for EHF pin pin and this is another pin where the pulley is attached if you look at the free body diagram of the uh, pulley these are the two cables and this is where the pulley is attached with the pin <coughs> the equilibrium of the two cables cables are all two force members this is the equilibrium of the inclined cable this is the equilibrium of the vertical cable this is the applied load and then it also shows the free body diagram of all the pins you will notice that on each page it shows how many equations you can write and how many unknown forces are there that you need to determine and this unknown forces are pin forces all internal forces uh, which obey uh, Newton's third law of action reaction so for example in this free body diagram we have three equations and three unknown forces so we can determine all of these the 
the purple arrows are the internal forces on this we have only three equations and six unknown forces so you cannot really go to this diagram right at the beginning to determine the unknown forces in this diagram you have only one equation two unknown forces so only thing that you can say is that this force and that force are equal this is three equations and five unknown forces another two force member two equal and opposite forces in order to determine the internal forces you go to the tab called solution strategy and the program asks you whether you would like to enter a solution strategy or you want the computer or the software to determine the solution strategy for you <coughs> so if you want the computer to determine the solution strategy for you you click here no and then the computer tells you exactly how to determine the internal forces for example in step one you go to member JK and determine one unknown force and if you look at member JK this is an applied load so you can determine that this load to be same as that load so in step two you determine the whole you look at the free body diagram of whole of the entire structure and if you remember that the whole structure the free body diagram for the entire structure had only three unknown forces and you could write three equations so you can determine all of those so in that fashion it walks you through all the steps and you have to write appropriate equations to determine the unknown forces this concludes the demonstration of the free body diagram software from Actus Potentia.